What's up, dudes? Max here, back with an update that probably has more people requesting me to make than almost anything over the past year. Yesterday, we got a full, huge trailer for Dragon Ball Fighters over in Japan, highlighting several aspects of the game that have had me very excited, as well as a few characters that have people absolutely blowing up right now. The latest three characters we did actually talk about before being Hit, Beerus, as well as Goku Black, did show off a bit within the magazine scans, but we didn't get to actually see how they look in motion. And that was the full point of this trailer, to finally see all these characters in motion and how ridiculous they look. Before we talk about the thing I really want to talk about, which is the dramatic finishers and the dramatic aspects that fights are going to have in Dragon Ball Fighters, let's quickly talk about the characters. Number one is Beerus. And Beerus, I am more surprised because they're taking an approach of a very obscure character. He is not a traditional, like, general fighter. He does a lot of really weird things, more similar to a character like Venom in Guilty Gear. Venom essentially allows you to put pull cues or projectiles on the screen that hover in that one area, and then he can jump around and sort of hit them in specific directions. Beerus appears to do the exact same thing, but they're a bit bigger and they're a bit easier to manipulate, it looks like. He could summon several of these things at one point, showing like six different orbs on screen, I think. And then he can hit them, they move, they, he can kick them left and right, he can air dash and shoot them out and then kick them towards you. Beerus is going to be all about stage control and manipulation, which is a huge aspect of Arc System Works games. And I'm very happy that that's being incorporated into Dragon Ball Fighters as well, because a lot of the characters, as we have seen, do play kind of similar and their play style is sort of the same. So there is some risks being taken, which is very cool, and I'm excited to see how Beerus is going to look when we actually get him in front of our face. Is he going to be really awkward to play, or is he going to be a unique character that is sort of easily accessible? Next up is Hit, and from the little bit we've seen of Hit within this uh, tiny bit of footage, this character looks absolutely badass. I mean, considering he's an assassin, I'm not surprised. He's sort of a chaotic neutral character as well. The dude just, like, oozes a coolness factor and probably looks better than he ever has been in this freaking game. It's ridiculous, man. So, I'm very much looking forward to this guy, but it looks like he is going to be primarily a grounded character of some kind. It really seems like he's going to be like a grounded mix-up character, where he can go from left to right, and you don't know which direction he's going to be at, and then attack you, and he just seems like he's going to be all over the place. Most likely, Hit's biggest weakness is going to be aerial battle, and not a lot of characters do amazing in the air in Dragon Ball Fighters. Only some of them are pretty good in the air. It's a bit different than a Marvel vs. Capcom game where some characters are obviously aerial focused and their power is in the air. But a lot of the mid-range in Dragon Ball and the ground is where most of the battles take place. Not a lot of sky battles, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't be surprised if Hit en ends up being super good, like a ridiculously good character, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's hard execution. We'll talk about that a bit later when we know more about him or can talk more about him. But until that, let's talk about the one character that is probably everyone's favorite right now because he's practically the evil Ryu in the game. It's Goku Black. And I am very happy with the way Goku Black looks. I love his crazy looking Psylocke side blade that comes out and he the, the, the amount of cinematic aspect this character has is ridiculous, and I guarantee you the characters you're going to be seeing the most in Dragon Ball Fighters, like, get a, get a load of Goku Black right now, like, soak it in, because when this game comes out, you're going to be seeing a whole bunch of teams pretty much composed of characters like Goku Blue, Vegeta Blue, and Goku Black. I guarantee you this character is going to be on everybody's team. Like, no questions at all. He just looks too damn cool. He, he looks too good. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the evil Ryu style character. I've always liked them. I like their variances in battle. And it seems that Goku Black doesn't play anything like Goku, which is a lot different than the, uh, the Super Saiyan Blues. That's very good because I was very nervous about there being another kind of Goku-ish looking clone character in the game. It doesn't seem to be the case. Stay tuned is all I'm going to say. Now, the next aspect, which is probably one of the things I'm most excited about, is these huge dramatic elements that are going to be incorporated into Dragon Ball Fighters. These dramatic elements don't only happen at some points during finishers, like, sort of like brutalities in Mortal Kombat X, and brutalities in MKX were one of my favorite damn things in that entire game. I just love the fact that you could end fights differently than doing a basic fatality. This seems to be so sort of like that. You have to fulfill a certain precondition. You have to end a character with a specific finisher, and then it cuts something in related to events of the show, and you get some pretty badass moment. It doesn't have to be the final character in a match. It can happen mid-match. We do see that 
Beerus performs like the Hakai move on Goku Black, like eviscerating him at some point. It looks ridiculous. And there's several other things that showed up with a gameplay demo where we actually see a big introduction with Frieza at the beginning of the trailer. But we see the conclusion of that at the end of the match if Goku and Frieza finish each other off. You get this giant cinematic finisher very similar to Frieza dying, shooting the blast, Goku turning around, and then destroying Frieza, and it looks freaking amazing. No shit, the cinematic elements in this game are so well kept and so well animated and so well preserved to what fans are expecting and what they have in their heads, and it's just, it, it makes me feel like they truly give a shit when they're making this game, and that's, that makes me the most happy. Like, you did not have to put these dramatic elements into the game. This is something that did not need to be in there. You didn't need these character interactions, like, but this is all stuff that just makes Dragon Ball Fighters that much more special. Like, it really, really, really is something that is catering towards its fans and is trying its hardest to make Dragon Ball fans and fighting games like myself alike in just loving the shit out of this game because there is so much of it that is exactly what I look for in fighting games. And now we get to see more of that, character interactions, big cinematic moments. As long as they're skippable, we're okay with it. The only thing that has me worried in this game right now is technically the Shenron slash Dragon Ball ability, so let's hope we get some official statement on that thing soon, sooner than later, because we still don't know exactly how it works and we still have no information on that, so I am... It's like the only thing I'm worried about with Dragon Ball Fighters, because everything else they've shown, every single time new characters come out, it just looks better and better and better, and then they show new aspects of the game, it just looks better and better and better. There's got to be something bad that happens in here, like there's got to be something like the DLC was a little rough where they announced DLC early. It's only in my skeptical brain of dealing with Capcom games for so many years that I'm just worried that something really bad is going to happen, so we'll see. Right now, all I can tell you is that this game looks ridiculous. Like, it looks ridiculous. And I've got some pretty big videos coming up over the next few days. Some stuff that I couldn't directly address in this video that I really, really want to give you guys answers to. I could not make a reaction to this video because that reaction would not have been genuine. Like... There's good reasons behind all of this, so I appreciate your guys' enthusiasm wanting to see those videos, but trust me, it'll all be worth it in a couple of days. I highly recommend you check out the Bandai Namco livestream, which is going to be taking place tomorrow. Showing off a bit of Dragon Ball Fighters. I will be there going over some of these aspects with Rhyme Style and Perfect Legend, so stay tuned to that, and then stay tuned soon after to this YouTube channel. Uh, it's going to get a little crazy. As always, dudes, thank you a ton for watching. I'll be back with more Dragon Ball Fighters as soon as possible. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.